2019 McLaren BP23. As a successful race car builder since the 1960s, McLaren's decision to launch its first road legal car in the early 1990s made a huge impact on the British firm. Although the F1 was its sole vehicle for many years, and the SLR and then the MP412C stood as McLaren's only offerings during their tenure, 2013 brought both the 650S and the P1. For the very first time, the Brits had two cars and dealerships. A couple of years later and the Super Series expanded to include more versions, while the more affordable Sport Series arrived to complete a trio of nameplates. Come 2017 and McLaren launched the Senna, a successor to the P1. But contrary to spy shots and rumors, the Senna doesn't have a three-seat layout like the F1, which means that McLaren may be working on another flagship vehicle as we speak. The design of the P23 is a complete mystery at this point. Although McLaren did release a teaser photo showing the figure of a car seen from above, it's far from revealing. All we can draw from it is that it will have a pointy nose, flared wheel arches, a fighter jet style canopy, and an aerodynamically shaped engine hood. It's not much, and even though I'm tempted to say that the new 720S could be used as inspiration, McLaren will probably go with a unique design. As you may remember, the P1 inspired both the 650S and the 570S. So this rain-stopping supercar will probably introduce a brand new design language rather than borrow from an existing model. Which makes a lot of sense given that the Senna is also unique. Autocar, claiming to have accurate renderings of the vehicle, described the BP23s, back when it thought it was the P15, styling is brutal and says that the car is said to be the ultimate distillation of form following function. The outlet's rendering indeed shows a brutal design but there is no proof that that what we see here is based on the real deal. As far as I know, the BP23 has yet to be unveiled to customers and the car has been a well-kept secret until now. But yeah, much like in the rendering, look for a massive diffuser and a huge rear wing with all sorts of adjustable elements. I know it seems rather difficult to bring out a car that's more aggressive and radical than the Senna, but if there's one automaker that could do it, it's definitely McLaren.